Holograms are real. Microsoft HoloLens. No markers, no external cameras, no wires, no phone required, no connection to a PC needed. I could see using this every single day. I had to do it. I had to buy Microsoft Hall Lens Dev Kit. I'm really excited to see what I can develop in it. And in this video, I'll unbox it. As of August 2, 2016, developers in the United States and Canada can now order up to five Hall Lens per Microsoft account directly from the online Microsoft Store. You will receive this cardboard box with two items a Microsoft clicker, and a box with the Microsoft HoloLens, as you can see here. If you're interested in purchasing a Microsoft HoloLens, I'll leave a link in the description. Now, the cost of the Microsoft HoloLens Development Edition is $3,000 plus whatever sales tax is at the place that you're living in. It's only available in the United States and Canada right now. Once you make the purchase, it will take 3 to 7 days to ship to your address. Instead of using hand gestures to control your HoloLens, you have the option of using this Bluetooth clicker. The Bluetooth clicker comes within this box and has two guides, a clicker guide and a safety and warranty guide. Now let's take a look at the Microsoft HoloLens box. On the front of the box, there is a holographic art depiction of the Microsoft HoloLens. There's a blue coloring on the sides of the box and on the back, there's an ordinary tag. If we take a look at the cover, on one of the sides of the box, it says Development Edition. Let's take a look at this casing. This case is very hard and sturdy. It's about the size of a cereal box, and it contains the hall lens and all of its accessories. Before we open this up, let's take a look at what's inside the box besides this case. There's a little guide underneath the case. The guide says Regulatory and Warranty Guide. Finally, let's open this case up. There's a zipper at the side of the case that you can pull across the entire side to open the case up. The case opens like a book. Right off the top, you can see the hall lens. But before we get to that, let's pick up this gray thing in the middle. It's actually a cushion. And the cushion has the Microsoft logo at the top and it says start here at the side of the hole. Underneath the cushion, it has a gray manual that says let's get started. Now in this video, I think it's best to show you every single page of the manual just because it has a lot of useful information and describes everything from what's in the box to what the accessories do to how to use the Microsoft HoloLens. You can full screen the video and hopefully you can read each of these pages. I'll spend three seconds on each of the pages and you can pause at any of the parts that you're interested in. It has a lot of information about safety, powering on, powering off, and so on and a bunch of details on the actual controls and how do you actually put on the device? How do you make it comfortable? Well, this will take a few seconds, so I'll let you do that and come right back. Underneath the manual, we'll see a black cloth within a plastic bag. This black cloth is meant to be used to clean the Microsoft HoloLens lenses. Underneath the black cloth, let's first check out this micro USB to USB cable. You can use this micro USB to USB cable to connect your Microsoft HoloLens to the AC adapter for charging or to a laptop or computer. Next up is the AC adapter. It's a rectangular black box it's very standard for an AC adapter. You use the micro USB to USB cable for charging purposes. Next up, we'll check the nose pad at the left side. This nose pad is put underneath the hall lens. It inserts at a slot on the hall lens and it's used as a nose pad. There's one already connected to a hall lens. So this one is meant to be an extra one. Last but not least, we'll check out this strap. This strap is the overhead strap. The overhead strap is meant to be used to improve comfort when putting the Microsoft HoloLens on your head. 
you can attach it at the top of the Microsoft HoloLens to improve any comfort that you might not already be experiencing. Let's pick this Microsoft HoloLens up. How does it feel? It feels like a heavy frisbee, but it's lighter than any of the virtual reality devices like Oculus Rift or Vive. Volume is at the top, brightness is at the bottom, and there's an adjustment wheel at the right side. Now let's take a look at the back of the device. How does that look? And what are the buttons at the back? There's a power button right there at the left. Underneath the power button, there's a micro USB slot. And at the right branch, there's a headphone jack at the bottom. Let's take a second look at the adjustment wheel. How does the adjustment wheel actually work? If you turn left on the adjustment wheel, it starts enlarging the inner headband. If you turn right on the adjustment wheel, it starts tightening the inner headband back up. Now, to put on a Microsoft HoloLens, you're supposed to slide this headband up and you enlarge the inner headband with the adjustment wheel as much as you please. On the sides of the Microsoft HoloLens, you may notice this orange piece. That orange thing is the spatial speaker. This is how the Microsoft HoloLens looks from the front and the sides. And the spatial speakers actually sound quite nice. Here's what the HoloLens looks from the back. Now the next thing I'll do is let's turn this Microsoft HoloLens on. The first time you turn on the Microsoft HoloLens, you hold the power button at the back for 3 seconds. And then the screen will start turning on. Now how do you put a Microsoft HoloLens on your head? First thing I do is enlarge the inner headband with the adjustment wheel by a lot. Then I start putting the Microsoft HoloLens on my head. Can you wear the Microsoft HoloLens with glasses? Yes, you can. After you put the Microsoft HoloLens on your head, you start tightening with the adjustment wheel the inner headband until it feels very comfortable on your head. I'll tell you right off the bat that wearing the Microsoft HoloLens with glasses does not feel as comfortable without. The first time you turn on the Microsoft HoloLens, the screen that you'll see says adjust your device to see all edges, say next to BN. I'll show you the first initial steps to setting up the Microsoft HoloLens. The first thing that pops up is calibration. You need to calibrate the HoloLens device, and it gives you some instructional steps to calibrate. As part of these steps, the first thing that you'll do to calibrate your HoloLens is align your finger underneath overlays provided by the HoloLens. You'll align your finger underneath the overlay for a few seconds until the HoloLens detects your finger. There are two displays of the HoloLens for projections. There's a left and right display, and you'll calibrate finger detection for both displays. There are a few overlays that appear for both displays, and all you do is put your finger underneath. Now you can see that my finger in this recording does not actually appear underneath the overlay. I'm thinking that the camera of the HoloLens is a little bit above what you actually see in your field of vision. So that is why my finger does not appear directly underneath the overlay. But from my point of vision, it does. The only thing about the recordings of the HoloLens that you'll see in this video as well as other videos is that the recording slightly exaggerates what you actually see. It misleads people who have not used the HoloLens before. You think that this is actually what you see when you put on the HoloLens? Well, it's not that good. The field of vision is actually a little smaller than what you actually see in these recordings and it's not as good as portrayed in videos. Let's move on to the next step. Welcome to the holographic world. Hi there. I'll show you how to select holograms. The first step is moving the cursor. To do this, just turn your head. Make sure to turn your whole head, not just your eyes. Try it out. Turn your head toward the colored triangles. You got it. See how the cursor follows? We call this gaze. When you're ready to move on, say next. Next. Now for step two in selecting holograms, the ready gesture. This lets HoloLens know that you're ready to select the hologram you're gazing at. Make a loose fist and hold your hand up. Start with the ready gesture. 
Hand out, finger up. Now stretch your hand away from you in all directions. Make sure to keep it in the ready gesture. The frame will light up when HoloLens can see your gesture and dim when it can't. Next. Now for the third and final step in selecting a hologram. Air tap. Start with the ready gesture, hand out, finger up. Then quickly tap your finger down, then all the way back up like this. Give that a try. Excellent, that's it. Now let's put it all together to select the gem. Gaze at the gem, raise... Practice makes perfect. Yes, nice work. You can also use your voice to select things. Instead of air tapping, gaze and then say select. Select. Give that a try now. Select. Select. Tap and hold is another way to interact with holograms. You've got it. Now move your hand slowly up and down. See how the hologram rotates? You'll use tap and hold for other things too. For instance, scrolling on a web page. That's all there is to it. When you're ready to move on, say next. Next. You're super close now. I only have one more gesture to teach you. It's called Bloom. Here's how to do it. After you set up Wi-Fi for the HoloLens, the HoloLens starts detecting your surroundings, the walls, and you're free to use the HoloLens as you want. I have three windows at the moment, Microsoft Edge browser, Microsoft Store, and the settings for the HoloLens. Now let's talk about field of vision because field of vision is important. Do I actually see all three windows at once? No, the field of vision is not this good. The recordings are a little bit misleading. Now, from this angle, my field of vision is probably the size of one of these windows, give or take an inch. And the field of vision is this rectangular box within the middle of your HoloLens. You can only see holograms within this rectangular box in the middle of your screen. The recording just projects all the holograms within the whole entire screen. I show you a little bit about enlarging. You use your hand as a mouse, so to speak. And you can use it to move windows, put it on different walls, and enlarge windows as you saw maybe in the demo that Microsoft did in 2015 and 2016. If you're interested in Microsoft HoloLens and how it will work in the future, I'll definitely be developing with the Microsoft HoloLens. Be sure to give me any questions that you want about the HoloLens because it's a new technology and it's really interesting. Thanks for watching.